My name is Ivan Vistik. I'm a director of engineering at Qualys. Uh, today I'm speaking about uh, a new thing that we're doing. It's called SSL Pulse. SSL Pulse is an initiative of the trustworthy internet movement and it's a dashboard, a, a continuously updated dashboard that's going to present the key metrics uh, that, that describe the security in the SSL ecosystem. Now, I've done quite a lot of work uh, with SSL Labs in the last two or three years. Uh, we've been doing this really uh, large-scale surveys assessing SSL on the internet. And SSL Pulse is actually the combination of that work because now we have something that uh, we're going to be updating every month. And this is a single page. It contains just the information that you need to know, just the key data points, and you can go there at any point and see what the state of security, SSL security is. And then more interestingly, uh, after a couple of months, what you can do, you can go and see the historic values, and you can see how we're going, and if we're improving, or if we're, if we're deteriorating in our security. So the most, uh, most recent results are out. Uh, we are scanning the most popular websites in the world. There's about 200,000 of these selected from the Alexa's top 1 million. And the bottom line is that about only 10% of those uh, can be considered secure. Now, if you look at the configuration alone, um, you know, in SSL Labs we give sites grades from A to F. About 50% of these sites have an A, so they, their potential, they have the potential to be well configured. Unfortunately, most of those are actually vulnerable to the beast attack. Overall, across all of these sites, it's actually 75% of the sites we, we tested are actually vulnerable to the beast attack, um, which is why the, the number of uh, really secure sites uh, is so low. Uh, speaking about uh, vulnerabilities, the other known vulnerabilities, uh, the issue with renegotiation, um, you know, renegotiation has been known for some time now, and we see today 13%, and we, we think this is a great improvement because the number of sites supporting insecure ne negotiation has been falling continuously for some time now. The, the good thing about fixing renegotiation is that you fix it with patching. So as patches come out, as people deploy new servers, this is why this number decreases. We're slightly worried about the beast attack because it cannot be addressed with a patch. So people have to actually reconfigure their servers. And because of that manual work, we fear that the beast attack will remain relevant for quite a, quite a, very, uh, quite a long period, uh, period of time. Uh, looking at other data metrics, uh, we uh, protocol support, if we look at that, there, there are five different versions of the protocol. SSL2 is still very widely supported. We are seeing it at 33%. This is a slight, this is a decrease. Last year we had a, a wide survey which included all public SSL sites and we saw SSL2 at 50%. So now we're looking at only the most popular sites we see is see the 30, about 33, which means that you know the more, more popular websites um, care more uh, care about their security more, which is why SSL support, uh, SSL2 support is uh, is uh, is present in, in in fewer of these sites. Unfortunately, if you look at uh, the higher end. There is virtually no support for TLS 1.1 or TLS 1.2. We're seeing very, very small increases uh, because, again, of the beast attack, people are actually talking about upgrading, but it still hasn't, uh, hasn't shown uh, on, on our charts. Uh, from the other data points, um, a very good thing that almost no sites uh, have weak keys. In fact, we've seen only 19 of these that have weak keys, which is great. In fact, I did another scan just two weeks ago and had 28. So to, you know, today it may be 19, and maybe next week the, the actual number may, may fall. So that's very good. And the other interesting point is actually we, we've seen an increase of support for HTTP uh, strict transport security, which is great news. STS is a, is a sign of cutting edge, uh, state-of-the-art SSL configuration, and we are seeing some adoption, which is great.